Learn English easily. Chapter 1 My Vacation to France I went on a vacation to the beautiful country of France. It was a dream come true for me. As soon as I landed, I could feel the magic in the air. In the center of the big city, I saw a very famous, tall structure called the Eiffel Tower. It was really big, and it looked like it was shining. I went to the top of this tower, and from there I could see the whole city. It was like looking at a big map. A little distance away from this tower, there was a big building called the Louvre Museum. This museum had a special glass shape that looked like a triangle or pyramid. When I went inside, I saw many pretty pictures and shapes, which are called paintings and sculptures. After seeing the city, I went to the place outside the city, which is called the countryside. Over there, I saw many, many fields with purple flowers called lavender. These flowers were everywhere and looked like a purple carpet. There were also houses in this area. These houses were not like the ones in the city. They looked very old and had sharp tops on their roofs. They looked like houses from fairy tales or stories I have read. Every place I visited, nice people would look at me and smile. They would say, bonjour, to me. In English, bonjour is like saying, hello. These people were very friendly. Whenever I was confused or needed help, they were there to help me. They would listen and answer my questions. When I went to places where people drink coffee or sit outside, like cafes or to open places, with trees and benches, like parks, I met some people and we became friends. We would sit together, laugh a lot, chat and tell each other stories about what we do and where we come from. They taught me some words in French, and I taught them some words from my own language. They were happy to learn from me, and I was happy to learn from them. The thing I remember the most about the trip was the yummy food. I tried a type of long bread. People call it a baguette. When I bit into it, the outside was a little hard and made a crunchy sound, but the inside was very soft. I liked eating it with many kinds of cheese. Every morning, I would eat something called croissant. It's like a special bread that's shaped like a moon. It felt soft and had layers that looked like leaves. It was so buttery that it felt like it disappeared in my mouth when I ate it. And the sweet things, oh my! There were different kinds of chocolate that melted in your mouth, big cakes with sweet cream, and small colorful cookies named macarons. Every time I saw them, I wanted to eat them. They tasted so, so good. This vacation taught me so much. Vacations are not just about taking a break, but they also allow us to experience new things, meet different people, and enjoy the simple pleasures of life.
The time I spent in France was filled with joy, learning and lots of delicious food. It was truly one of the best times of my life, and I will always cherish the memories I made there. I hope to travel more and discover the many wonders the world has to offer. Chapter 2 The Lost Watch John had a watch that he loved very much. It was not shiny or had many colorful stones on it, but it was the most special thing to him. Because his mother gave it to him when he turned ten years old. He remembers that birthday very clearly. The room was lit with candles. That gave off a soft and warm light. Everyone sang the happy birthday song, and it sounded very sweet. The best part was when his mom, with a big smile on her face, gave him a present wrapped in paper. When he opened it, inside was the watch. Sadly, that was the last time he celebrated his birthday with his mom. After a short time, she went to heaven, and John missed her a lot. After John lost his mom, his grandfather became very important in his life. Even though his grandfather was old and sometimes found things hard to do, he made sure to look after John like a parent would. John's grandfather really loved him. You could see this love in all the things he did for John. He taught John many things, told him many stories, and was always kind and gentle. Every time John was sad or needed help, his grandfather was there for him. Even though they had been through a very sad time when John's mom went away, the love between John and his grandfather grew stronger and helped them both to keep going. Every morning, when John got ready for work, he always wore the watch his mom gave him. The watch made him feel close to her and reminded him of the good times they had together. But one day, something bad happened. In the evening, when John was getting ready to go home from work, he looked at his wrist and noticed the watch was not there. He felt very scared and worried. He tried to remember where he might have put it. He looked everywhere, in his office, under the tables, inside drawers, and even in places he didn't think it would be. He also asked the people he worked with if they had seen the watch. But no one knew where it was. As more time went by, John became sadder and sadder. He thought he might never see the special watch his mom gave him ever again. Many days passed, and John was very sad because he couldn't find his special watch. But he didn't give up hope completely. One day after work, John needed to get some papers from his friend's room at the office. When he walked into the room, he saw something shiny on the table, next to a desk. He looked closer and saw that it was his lost watch. A big feeling of happiness came over John. The watch was not broken or scratched. It looked just like how he remembered. He picked it up and felt so thankful. His friend at work 
who had the room, was also surprised. He told John that he had found the watch a few days ago on the floor. He kept it safe, waiting for the person who lost it to come and find it. John was so thankful and happy that he could hardly speak. He said thank you many times to his friend, and his eyes were wet with tears of joy. After finding his watch, John felt differently about it. Before, the watch reminded him of his mom and the love she had for him. But now, it also made him think of kind people and the surprising good things. That can happen when you don't expect them. Every now and then, John would gently touch the front part of the watch. When he did this, he would remember all the good times with his mom. He would also think of the day his friend at work kept his watch safe. The watch now made him think of all the loving and kind people in his life, both those who were with him now and those who were with him before. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.